So let's read the requirement of this particular question. Calculate the expected net present value of the investment project and comment on financial acceptability. So you have NPV calculation. Uh, they are asking us to distinguish between the risk and uncertainty uh, and explain why they should be considered in investment appraisal process and critically discuss if sensitivity analysis will assist Rexing company in assessing the risk of the uh, investment. Okay, so let's start with option A, which is the requirement A. So now let's read the scenario. Rexing company is appraising an investment project which has an expected life of four years and which will not be replaced. So when you are reading the scenario, always keep in your mind, this is a mistake most of the students are making. Read the scenario with the understanding. Don't read it for the sake of reading it. So when you are reading the scenario, highlight the important points. You can't highlight it actually. Note down it. So you have a scratch pad. In your scratch pad, note down since the question is big you can't keep everything in your mind so if you can, can keep everything in your mind means that's really good so what you have to do is whatever the important points note it down somewhere so when you are doing the calculation it will become very easy for you so let me uh, take my highlighter so i'll be able to highlight whatever the important points Rexing company is appraising an investment project which has an expected life of 4 years and will not be replaced. The initial investment payable at the start of the first year of operation which is 5 million uh, scrap value is given 500,000 is expected to arise end of the year 4. There is uh, some uncertainty about what price can be charged from uh, the unit produced by the investment project at, as this is expected to depend on future state of the economy. The following forecast of selling prices and their probabilities has been prepared. So they have given some uh, probabilities in this calculation. So we have to deal with the uncertainty also. So what they are telling is if the economy is weak you will get certain uh, selling price if economy is medium you will get certain selling price if economy is strong you will get some certain selling price the selling prices are expected to subject to an annual inflation of four percent per year regardless of which economic state prevails in the future Forecast sales and the production volume and the total nominal variable cost. So this is very important. They have given the nominal variable cost. That means the variable cost is already adjusted for inflation. Have already been calculated forecast as follows. So they have given that information as well. Incremental OH. Incremental means it is specific for that project. So that OH you have to take into the consideration when you are doing the NPV calculation. Per year. In current price term will arise as a result of undertaking a new project but guys this is in current price a large proportion of these overheads relate to energy costs which are expected to increase sharply in the future because of energy supply shortage so overheads are subject to an inflation of 10% so overheads also subject to inflation of 10% the initial investment will attract tax allowable depreciation on straight line basis. So tax allowable depreciation is there on straight line basis over four years. The rate of corporation tax rate is 30%. Liabilities are paid in the year in which they arise. So this is very important. You are paying the tax liability in the same year. Most of the question what they have given is one year areas, but this question is not one year areas in the same year. And has traditionally used a nominal after tax discount rate. So they have given the nominal rate, which is 11%. So we have to calculate the NPV. Now let's calculate the NPV. This is a four year project, year zero, year one, year two, year three, and year four. So let me start with the sales and i have variable cost i have overheads and this will give you 
taxable cash flows so let me start with sales i'll do a working for sales working one working one sales so here i'll take year one year two year three and year four so before doing that calculation i want to calculate my uh, average selling price based on the probability so i will calculate that so how much they have given 25 into 35 percent plus 30 into 50 percent plus 35 into 15 percent so my average selling price is how much average selling price is 29 so based on this let's let's do the calculation so these prices are not inflated prices so we have to inflate it this value i will lock that sale 29 into 1.04 into how many units 150,000 units so here I am getting a value of 4,524,000 so let me copy paste the value for the year 2 and I will make the changes this into to the power 2 how many units for the year 2 it is 250,000 units Let me do it for the year 3 again here to the power 3 how many units 400,000 units again I will do it for year 4 is to the power 4 how many units 300,000 units so I calculated my sales when you are doing the calculation always make sure to link it don't go and type 4,524,000 here always make sure to link it like this so here it will be this cell year 3 it will be this value year 4 it will be this value so my sales are done next one it is your variable cost so variable cost here what they have given is it is in nominal terms so nothing to do they have given the total variable cost we can directly take that value so minus two three eight five zero 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 uh, let me put some decimal numbers and let me reduce the decimal numbers okay <clears throat> so second year how much is that 4.2 million and next one is 7 million 1080 and next one is minus 5730 so variable cost is done next one is O8 incremental O8s are 400,000 in current terms so it is subject to an inflation rate of 10% so here 400,000 into 1.1 here this into 1.1 to the power 2 and here to the power 3 and here it's to the power 4 so it's are done now let's take the taxable cash flows and taking the sum so let me copy paste it so I got the taxable cash flows for the cash flows I will have to pay tax so the corporation tax rate how much they have given 30% tax is paid in the same year tax payment tax payment 30% so for this amount I have to pay tax 30% so I will multiply from negative 30% in order to get a negative value so let me copy paste the value so you got the tax payments for all the years 
So next one is tax save. So you will get tax saving for your tax allowable depreciation. So let's calculate the tax saving. Let me do a working for that. Working to working to tax saving. So in this question, the value of the asset is how much? Five million. Minus the scrap value is how much? They have given five hundred thousand. So this should be divided by four because uh, it is a four-year project. So depreciation per year is how much? One million one hundred and twenty-five thousand. So you know the depreciation into the this is the depreciation into the tax rate. You will get the tax saving. This is tax rate. will get tax save so tax saving per year it should be how much 1125 into 30% it is 337500 so this is the tax saving that you are going to get for each year so it is 337500 so let me lock the cell then i can copy paste it Okay, tax saving also done. So next one is investment. Investment is how much, guys? It is five million. And you have your scrap. So scrap is how much? Five hundred thousand. So everything is done. Now we have to calculate the NPV. So to calculate the NPV, let's take the net cash flows first. Cash flows. So I can copy paste it. So I got the net cash flows. Now let's uh, find the present values. To find the present values, what's the rate that I have to use? Eleven uh, percent. So here it is one. Let me increase the number of decimal places. Discounting factor, eleven percent. So here one divided by one point one one to the power one. So here it should be to the power two. If not, you can take from the present value table also. To the power three, but if you do it in Excel, the answer that you are getting is it will be an accurate answer. So you got the discounting factors. Now let's calculate the present values. This amount into the discounting factor. So I will copy paste it. So how much is the NPV that you are getting? I need the sum of these amounts. So the NP that I am getting is three million eight hundred and five thousand forty-two dollars. So actually, you can calculate this NPV using the NPV formula also. So I will show you how to calculate using the NPV formula. You can use either method. So using the NPV formula, how you have to do is type NPV. Okay. Open the brackets. Then you have to type the rate. So rate is how much? Eleven percent. Then take the select the cell range from year one onwards for the cash flows. Okay, for the cash flows from year one onwards. Don't take year zero. Again, I am telling, don't take year zero. If you take year zero, you will get a wrong answer. So select from year one to year four. Then close the brackets. For that one, now here it is a negative value. No? That's why I am adding. If not, you should deduct it since it is a negative value. I am adding your year zero cash flow. So here, see how much is the NPV that you are getting? Three million eight hundred and five thousand forty-two dollars. So it is the same as the NPV that I previously calculated. So using this method also, you can calculate the NPV where you are not required to do these three steps. 
directly using the net cash flow you can get the NPV answer. So in the question what they are asking is calculate the expected net present value of the investment project and comment on its financial acceptability. So you have to make a comment on this also. So how you are going to make a comment? First you can tell 3.8 million 5042 it is an expected NPV which is it is an average or mean NPV. But for you to understand what is the proper NPV is you have to calculate the outcomes under each scenario. If the market is weak, what will be the NPV? If the market is medium, what will be the NPV? If the market is strong, what will be the NPV? So based on each scenario, you have to calculate the NPV. After that, based on the risk of the company and risk appetite of the managers, we have to decide whether it is financially acceptable or not. So based on this one, this is just an average NPV where you will get this NPV in long term if you repeat the investment again and again. So you have to calculate the NPVs under each of these three scenarios and you have to take the risk also into the consideration then based on the risk appetite of the managers we have to decide whether we are proceeding with the investment or so if you can make this comment up to some extent you will get the perfect line marks in the exam so for the comment you will get like one mark for the calculation you will get like eight marks if you make a proper comment you will get all so this is how you have to do a such a calculation. I have done a comprehensive revision for ACCA Financial Management FM or F9 syllabus for a very reasonable price. You can purchase this revision through the link available in the description. In this revision program, I have covered 120 plus MCQ type questions and 6 constructed questions. For each question, I have given you detailed answers and I have provided some additional learning as well. So I hope this revision program will be useful for you in order to pass your exam if you like my video don't forget to like it share it and make sure to subscribe my channel